I'd like to introduce a brand new kit from QuantumMagnetics.com called the Quanta Charger. This is an awesome piece of equipment. It's upgradable, expandable. Uh, the rail system is another kit which houses this motor. The unit together is called the Quanta Converter. And the idea being that the, the motor drives this uh, through a, a magnetic coupling. And I'll show you. This is. There's nothing joined. You can see the airspace through it. And because when you have a standard coupling like this, it's just a jaw coupler has a rubber insert and they come together there's there's a bit of friction between the kinetic energy transfer from this motor to this generator uh, this totally eliminates it there's zero friction there so it's nothing but uh, magnetic flux that turns it and that close proximity it's about an eighth of an inch gap it can be eighth up to a quarter it depends on the generator uh, configuration this particular kit generator right now is configured for a low lens operation meaning that the magnet retainers inside come around here you can see see one right there and there they go all right those are meant to house a three-quarter inch thick by one and a half inch diameter n52 neo very powerful there's six coils and six magnets. I know that may sound strange, but this, con this configuration is a single phase operation. These six coils, these dual air coil sets, uh, operate simultaneously. Uh, this, this one is in, this set of six is in series, and the other set of six presently is wired in series also. Comes together in parallel here. Uh, this is a mess. Ex please excuse this mess. I'm, ju I'm just testing this. There's dozens of ways that this motor uh, generator combination, especially the generator uh, quanta charger, can be configured. Uh, it can be with, a, with an eight position magnetic position rotor. Uh, this can be set up as a, as a uh, three phase generator and uh, reduce it even more. But in a low lens configuration, meaning that instead of the three-quarter inch magnets inside the rotor in those retainers going by <laughs> right there uh, there's a one-eighth inch thick by one and a half inch diameter and there's plastic spacers on either side that hold it in the very center of the rotor because those caps come together like a clamshell I, I think I showed you that in the parts if not uh, you'll see it in another video so so this is one kit here. Uh, this is another optional kit here if you want to go with the magnetic coupling. And uh, the, I think the, um, there's a company in uh, Great Britain that I believe they manufacture these and they said that you gain up to 15% better efficiency through magnetic coupling with zero friction than you do with a, a standard coupler like this. But when you're running this quanta charger with the large magnets whether it's in a three phase operation or you take you can you can uh, wire each of these coil sets in parallel and you can have six different chargers and just get another uh, heat sink like this that has the two big bridge rectifiers on it get another one and another one two more so you'll have six bridge rectifiers one for each of these charger units and charge different things at a you know at a variable rate or, or whatever or you can connect them all and just increase your amperage and lower your voltage down because uh, in a series connection like this and then paralleling that you still have really high voltage even with the super low lens operation and the idea behind the low lens is to not put uh, an excessive load on this monster monster Baldor motor this is a seven and a half horsepower motor uh, it's designed to run uh, on the faceplate. It says here 230 volts or 460 volts. Now it isn't a standard motor. 
this this has gone through a conversion process which is not an invention of mine it's an invention of Hector Torres a brilliant brilliant guy who figured out a way how to take this monster three-phase motor which normally consumes uh, 4,370 watts constantly as it's as it's running uh, and I've had this thing running on as low as 48 watts almost a hundredth of what it's designed to run on now I put this switch in here and I've got a, a start cap and I've got two capacitors uh, in a in a circuit that's inside that's all inside this box if you're just going to use this as a prime mover then it only requires one cap and uh, maybe 25 microfarad but even though this is an off-the-shelf motor from Baldor I mean it comes in right away at uh, right on the faceplate 91.7 percent efficiency which is really really high I'll show that up in in close-ups in in the other video that explains this this motor a little bit more and the uh, conversion process what you have to do to do this because you turn this thing into uh, just a super super efficient prime mover or it's a motor generator in this particular case uh, I've uh, changed the circuit and uh, brought in the second oil field capacitor and what happens is is you wire this up according to the high voltage which is for uh, 460 volt operation but you bring in standard line voltage 110 120 volts and uh, this motor comes from the factory of Baldor as uh, inverter ready so this is just absolutely perfect because when you use an inverter and and a variac the the inverter is powered by batteries uh, it runs loudest thing on this whole system is just a fan from this this stupid inverter I could probably take it out because nothing ever gets hot this monster monster motor that's designed to run on 4.3 kilowatts uh, never heats up the conversion process I'll explain to you how you know how that's done it's, it's really really amazing you're, you're just gonna be blown away a lot of people have done these replications of this but not many are using it as both a prime mover and a generator these two wires coming out here uh, are what's coming off the third phase acting as a rotary transformer inside here and with the the third uh, capacitor inside there are two run caps and a start cap the start cap is only used to start this thing up because there's no permanent magnets inside this monster motor here so it has to generate its own magnetic field to get started so it uses a start cap and this switch lights up and and this thing comes up into resonance and when it hits resonance it gets super quiet well this thing first gets really bright and starts to hum and so you just turn the switch to here the light goes off and the whole thing is almost silent running it's, it's just the most amazing thing and with the uh, friction free magnetic coupling and a low lens configuration on the quanta charger there's the whole thing is just super super quiet that's why I say the fan right here <laughs> of the uh, right there of the inverter is the loudest thing on this whole system but uh, but keeping this in a in a low lens configuration isn't going to give you very much output but uh, but it certainly will give you uh, more output uh, uh, than than is needed to run this system and and I'll be showing you that in tests that uh, is quite remarkable but so there you have it there this that's this is the introduction I'm going to show you how it works uh, it's a beautifully beautifully engineered piece of equipment that's uh, like I said it's totally upgradable expandable so you're not locked into one thing when you when you build this kit uh, you like I said you can wire the coils in any configuration that you want for whatever your purpose is whether it's to charge batteries or maybe run an inverter direct or whatever it is that you want to do in this case I wanted to run it so that it wasn't pulling any more watts or it, even just a couple of watts off this big monster machine so it's just like this is freewheeling and still generating additional power while it's generating its own power from the uh, the three phase uh, tap in on this on the rotary transformer of the third phase of this which is it, it's just an incredible thing and, and Hector Torres is just uh, he's just an amazing man and he puts so much R&D into this 
I mean, he deserves so much credit, and I'm sure that, that Baldor just loves him too because <laughs> it helps to sell these. Some people have done this. This is the one of the, their gold line of, of Baldor's uh, uh, premium uh, Super E motors, you know, are the highest efficiency, I think, out there on the market. So you can't go wrong with this. And because this is inverter ready from the factory, this is just so perfect because you can run this motor. Uh, here it's plugged into the uh, Variac. You can run it off the mains, uh, you know, uh, your power company supply, but you will get a higher efficiency if you run it from batteries to the inverter with the Variac plugged into the inverter and then the rotoverter. This is called a rotoverter with the conversion on this giant Baldor motor. Uh, then it's plugged into the Variac and then you can adjust your your output here on the Variac and it just it just makes the the whole system a lot more efficient and it, it's 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 hard to believe that until you see it actually for yourself and uh, it, it's just an amazing thing it's so well engineered and this thing is so fun to put together I mean it's just it was just a, a joy to construct because it's so simple and uh, you'll see and then look at the this all is so beautiful the uh, quanta converter kit that, that mounts the big giant rotoverter onto these T rails where it slides and locks down and you can set this I mean look how accurate that is I just put a piece of eighth inch material in here brought those together uh, torqued down everything onto the rails and uh, and then slid the piece out and there was my my perfect little air gap between the the uh, the couplers the magnetic couplers there I mean look how well that thing spins it's just it's just really 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 nice this system works you're gonna be absolutely amazed and like I said it's available now at quantummagnetics.com